hello friends welcome to my youtube channel so in this video i will show you how you can customize our moodle dashboard page okay so at the very first if you have installed moodle successfully then you will see your page something like this okay so first of all you have to log in this page sorry log into our website okay so i will just give my username and password which i gave during the installation of moodle okay i will click on login so after logging in our website you will see our dashboard page something like this okay so this is not looking very good okay so what we will do what we will do basically i will show you how you can customize our dashboard page customize means how you can remove these blocks how you can add our new blocks okay so that our dashboard page looks something good okay so basically what you can do you can remove all those blocks you can add new blocks accordingly okay so what i will do i will remove these blocks because these are not looking good and we will add some new blocks according to our requirements okay so if you want to delete or edit this page what you have to do you have to click customize this page okay so once i click on customize this page it will open the page in editing mode okay so now you can remove these blocks according to your requirement so what i will do i will remove all these blocks so i will if i want to remove these so click on drop down menu and here you can change the settings of this blocks okay you can hide this block and you can change the permissions as well and we will i want to delete this blocks so click delete learning plan blocks okay so confirm click on yes and now it will delete that block okay so if i want to delete this block also then do the same okay click on yes so now i will also delete this timeline page timeline block okay confirm mm, i also want to delete online users block okay i don't want to see online users here confirm and i will also delete latest badges page confirm okay so now what remains here private files calendar and upcoming events so now you can drag these blocks also according to according to your requirement okay like i wanted to put private files top and then upcoming events and then calendar okay or you can do calendar you can drag calendar on the top then private files and upcoming events okay so you can drag and drop according to your requirements okay i will keep the settings as it is now and what i will do now i will add some new block here right now we have seen how you can delete and delog drag blocks okay now we will add some new blocks let's say i want to um, put a block here of that that's so latest announcement like this latest announcement latest announcement or our courses okay so i will add two new blocks here so you have to click add a block on left side click add a block so it will show you many blocks here so what you want to add admin administration comment section courses section something new html block okay latest badges learning plans all these blocks listed here so i wanted to add a new block let's say latest announcement okay so click on it once you click on it it will add latest announcement block here you can see so ab now you if i wanted to put this block here so what i will do i will 
click on this arrow symbol and I will just drag this block and I will put it where I wanna to put it okay so let's say our latest announcement block I wanted to keep this block on the top of our website and now I will remove courses overview okay now I will add a new block here that will be our courses block so I will repeat the same process again add a new block now click on courses and drag this block on the mid of our website okay so now you can see our dashboard page looking something good okay here on the uh, left side you can say something menus and on the right side you can say upcoming events private files and calendar now now it's well organized and here you will see latest announcement and courses section let's say i wanted to put latest announcement on the top so i can drag this simply okay so now you can see in the middle of our page latest announcement and courses so right now we have not added we have not added any announcement or courses so that it's not showing anything if once we add once we will add courses latest announcements so it will listed all the announcement and courses here okay now our dashboard page looking something better okay so that's it